congratulations on the 200. Is it a, a milestone you've kind of had in mind for a while? Um, I haven't really <clears throat> thought of it too much, to be honest. Um, I mean, last year when you look at the fixtures coming out this year, yeah, you have a look at it. But, um, yeah, it's definitely something that I'm, I'm proud of. Um, I didn't think back 11 years ago that I'd be at this point of my career, but um, to be able to get here at this point is definitely something that I'm uh, yeah, extremely proud of. What would be a highlight, Lindsay, along the way, 200 games? Um, I think playing finals footy um, the last couple of years has been great for us. Um, I think definitely the game against Essendon um, at the MCG 2014 <clears throat> was probably one of the highlights of my career. Um, being down for you know, most of the game and be able to come back and win that game was it's definitely a great effort and something that, I, that I've remembered over the last couple of years. It's so extra special that it's coming on Good Friday as well. Hopefully a big yeah. crowd and a monumental game. Yeah, it is. It is. You know, it's, um, you know, we're, we're um, absolutely honoured to be able to get this game on, on Good Friday. So you know, to be able to play this game, uh, you know, BMI 200 is definitely extra special. So um, hopefully we can get a big crowd. But um, more importantly, you know, it's about giving back to the, to the kids and hopefully we can... Um, you know, get a big crowd, good crowd out there and, um, you know, they can make as much money to give back to those kids that are, you know, fighting for their lives. And do you think that North Melbourne earns the right to hold this game each year against the Dogs? Do you think it should be a, on the calendar every year that North Melbourne against the Dogs on Good Friday? Yeah, look, I, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Our footy club definitely um, deserves it. You know, we're, I think uh, you look back, you know, 30 years ago, we we're, were the pioneers of Friday night footy, so... You know, I think it's a definitely a, a fixture that um, I think we really do deserve and um, to be able to play you know, the first one this coming week, um, so yeah, it's something special. Having campaign, campaigned for it so hard as a club, is there some <coughs> pressure there to put on a good show and increase your chances of making it a permanent fixture? Uh, I don't think so. You want to perform every time you go out. Um, but, yeah, look, for us, you know, we, we're just extremely excited to get out there on... On Friday night, um, big stage, play some quality opposition. But you know, like I said, it's it's you know also about giving back, and hopefully we can get a good crowd out, and um, it's you know good Friday appeal as well. So we want to hopefully get a big crowd, make as much money for those guys, and um, hopefully it's, you know we do put on a good show. Going back a fair way now, you, you're able to represent the Indigenous All Stars. Tell us about where that stacks up in your career highlights. Yes, you know, obviously I'm very proud to be an Indigenous person, and um, you know, to be able to play, and I think I played in about three or four of those games, and um, you know, it's definitely something I do look forward to every two years, and um, you know, every time I can and, um, put the, the Indigenous guns on and represent uh, my people in those games is definitely special. But um, you know, I represent my people every week. You know, when I play for North Melbourne, so. Um, yeah, they're, they're pretty special those camps, I enjoy going on them as well. Were there times where you didn't think you'd get this far in, in a career, 200 games? Um, look, I'd be lying if I said um, you know, I didn't, because obviously you have your, your challenges in, um, in AFL footy, it doesn't come easy. Um, but um, yeah, I've had doubts in my mind, no doubt, that um, I wouldn't get to this point. But like I said, I'm, I'm extremely proud to, to be able to come here and represent this footy club and to play 200 games is... Uh, you know, something special. What's been some of those challenges? Oh, I've had a few. Um, it's pretty documented that uh, the Yips, you know, have gone back a while now and, um, you know, the scrutiny that our game has, you know, you just got to deal with it. So they're, they're um, the, the challenges you've got to deal with and you get through them. And I'm pretty fortunate that I've had good people around me over my 11 year career. and. And I'm fortunate that I'm at such a great footy club as well. I guess, unfortunately, along with the yips, the other one that's probably followed you a bit is the diving aspect. Is that something you feel you've moved past now? Yeah, look, I'll, I'll look at that and um, I, I find it pretty funny, to be, to be honest, because, you know, I've been pitched as, or I've been put as this poster boy as, you know, diver or a ducker or, or any of this. But I think if you look at your stats, I'm not even in the 25th ever over the last couple of years so it doesn't really phase me too much at all um, does it annoy me a little bit but um, you know I'll move on from it and I kind of have a little laugh at it to be honest. It's been 32 more games to catch your mate Boomer, <laughs> you, you got it in the league? Uh, I don't think anyone will break his record so <laughs> now nah, look he's, he's another person along with Daniel Wells who you know I, I thank a lot and I give a lot of credit for to being at this point in my career and 
um, you know, it's, obviously it's sad they won't be here, but you know they'll, they'll, they've given me phone calls and you know I've spread, it's working here today. So um, those two guys, you know, owe a lot, owe a lot to. So um, and no doubt they'll they'll come over Friday and um, hopefully we can get a win. It's been a disappointing couple of weeks in terms of results. Does anything stand out to you that really needs work? Yeah, we, well, we just finished our review and you know we're playing some decent footy. We're, um, you know, we're, we're stacking up with some great footy teams at the minute, but we're just uh, we're not doing it long enough. And you know, I think you know we'll, we'll get on the track again this week and work hard. And um, you know, hopefully we can fix that we need to fix, and we'll, we'll, hopefully we can get our win this week. Is there anything the coach wants you to do differently at all? No, not really. I mean, you know, we got a group now where um, a lot of a lot of young young kids in, and you know, my role in the team now is you know, hope just helping these kids. And educating them more and more about the way we want to play, and feel like we're doing that, and um, you know the wins will come. Can you realistically still aim to make the finals from zero and three? Oh, well, realistically we can. It's only round three of the season, so you know we've got a game plan that you know we firmly believe in, and um, we're back and we're back in Brad and all the other coaches, and you know our playing group is confident as ever, so. You know, we've just got to um, fix a few things and I think we can do that over the next couple of weeks and hopefully we can start this week. You've played a bit of footy with Toddy Goldstein. He's, he's struggling a bit at the moment. Can, can you see playing four tolls, having the Bruce, Dahl, Goldstein uh, Brown? Um, look, I think we can. Um, you know, Toddy, obviously Toddy had that incident last week where he sprained his ankle and he missed last week, but, you know, I don't think... It, um, Anyone should be criticising Todd. He's an All-Australian ruckman, and um, you know he, he he played well for us on the weekend. But um, you know, we know the player Toddy is, and we know Toddy knows what we expect from him every week. And um, look, I have no doubt um, Toddy will hit his form um, hopefully this week. What do you make of Braden Bruce's uh, form? Only a couple of games in, but he seems to be uh, tearing these games apart. Yeah, he's, he started off really well, Braden, and um, couldn't be more happier for him. You know he. He's a player that came back and absolutely um, great nick in the preseason. You know, he comes in on his days off and he does extra work by himself. And you know, to see him um, see the rewards that he's getting now and, and performing on the weekends, um, yeah, I couldn't be more proud of Braden.